Alright, welcome back to another series of tutorial. In this tutorial, we want to look at specifically at databases and specifically at Microsoft Access and how we use that to create small databases. So, if you're here for the first time, um, you can take a look back at the Excel tutorials that I did a few months back. And if you're finished with those series, then you would have noticed how powerful Excel is. And so, I thought that we would create the link from Excel into database so that you can look at um, Microsoft Access itself and see how to use another great productivity tool to get some stuff done around the office or at home. So if you've ever been to the grocery store, you've been to any of the medical facilities or any of the um, payment areas such as your electricity bill, your water bill, your cable bill, um, maybe you've been to courts, right? You'll notice that these people are behind the computer using something to put in your information. You've been to the social security office, you notice that the guy punches in some information onto the computer, it is stored in some sort of um, software or database, right? And then he's able to quickly analyze and get back information um, so that he can give that to you. And this is done using something called a database. So what is a database? A database simply, if you break those two words down, data and base, it essentially is a collection of data where data is collected and, and data in that sense then can be quickly analyzed to produce information. So you might ask, so what's the difference between Access and Excel then? If Excel is great at, that is great at storing and organizing numbers, we know that from what we did earlier, and there's some level of analysis that does happen to your Excel file. But Access on the other hand, um, is great at analyzing and connecting data. So why wouldn't I use Excel over Access if I'm dealing with large amount of data? Simply because if you're typing data out in, in Excel, you might find out that you will have repeated data in some tables. So if you're putting data into a worksheet, um, you might find out that if this, you're dealing with the same customer, then you might have to put that customer name over and over. While in Access, you can create a separate list that can be used to place a customer in and tie or make a relation to some other entity um, or some other table um, based on whatever that customer, whatever your business um, vision is. So with access, again, we'll look back at the definition. It is a storing a group of related data. So access can be used to store and organize a group of related data. So database, again, a collection of data. We use database in many areas, and I want you to think about places now um, where you may, you may or might use a database or places that use the database right now based on that definition that they're storing data, they're organizing data, they're analyzing data, and you're producing information. So tell me, list a couple places that you know that uses a database. You might use it for police records. You might use it for processing utility bills. You might use it for storage of medical records. You might use it for storage of student grades, right? And in stores to keep track of items. Anywhere else you can think about? Think about your cell phone. When you go into your cell phone and you enter your friend's name, um, where, do you where, where do you think it's stored? It's stored in a database, right? So also within your cell phone um, software, you will find a database that is used to store contacts. A lot of websites now, if you go onto any website, most of these websites are built with a database backend. And so there's something or some sort of software in the backend managing that data. So again, a database essentially then is used to store data, organize data, and analyze data. Right? So we're able to use Microsoft Access in this case, which you're going to learn, 
to create our own database for storing data, organizing data, and analyzing data to produce information.